I was over here trying to grab tickets to uh, Copa America, but for whatever reason, it's not why letting me get phones? tickets. Um, why do I have two phones? Oh, what? Well, one for uh, a work, and then one for a uh, personal. Yeah, mm. it's, yeah, it's got to have uh, two different phones. Interesting. Yes, yeah, content phone, and then ultimately, uh, you know, when you do the two of something, one can be a hundred percent business, and then the other one eighty percent. So. I see your content. You produce so much content your content output is ridiculous yeah it, it, it is a lot it is a lot um and and it's since given the move uh because the tail end of february by the time this will be out it'll be in march so the first two months have been the most difficult of a start to a year that i probably had since maybe 2019 but um I've been able to now ramp things back up to where it's heavy on Instagram, heavy on Twitter, heavy on YouTube. So there is that. Uh, but yeah, you just got to stay as consistent and just push a bunch of content out. It's impressive, bro. That feeling of just being full on your schedule is, is the great too. Because I've been kind of the same way. I've just been like so beat just because there's so much to do. But life is like that. Like you're always going to have stuff to do. You're never going to have things to do. You just got to keep going. And you got to enjoy that like stress right right because it's good stress it's stress it's that you stress. actually when you were younger it's the type of stress that you said to yourself you wanted to have yeah per se because oftentimes when you think about well you want to be a millionaire or you want to have money are you prepared for the problems that come along with that so um if you're somebody who just thinks well you know everything's going to be fixed once the money comes along <laughs> You're completely wrong. I see. Well, no, it's crazy because I see, like, I used to see people, like, they were doing shit all the time. It's like, yo, right. at 12, I got this. At 3, I got this. At 4, I got this. At 5, I got this. Then at 7, I finally kind of kind of slow down, spend time with my family, sleep, do it again the next day, and it's just schedules packed. Right. And I was like, yo, that's, that's lit. I want that. I want to be moving and shaking like that. I want to be making moves. Right. What they don't tell you is it's not as fun as it looks. It's not. <laughs> It's not. like this morning I was shooting ads. I literally was shooting ads. Now I go here, shoot this podcast. Then we got to go to an event after this, me and my wife. So it's like, it's like boom, 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 back to mm -hmm. back to back to back to back. I guess the positive is at least they're in different locations. So you have a change of scenery. I think oftentimes it can get very monotonous if you're in a situation where everything's done in the same spot. Like yeah. I know people who have Zoom meeting and behind Zoom meeting behind Zoom meeting and they're sitting at their desk inside of their house staring at the wall for hours on end, you're going to be feel like you're in hell. Yeah, <laughs> so. but I think a big part of it, like if you're always just bouncing around, you can never just like right sit down, sit down and, and relax like, uh, yeah yeah so that that's where you have to and one of my um one of my very close friends he incorporated um work blocks and stuff so he would do like a four hour blitz take a work block another four hour blitz take a work block and then add just whatever time frame that he wants to close out the day with and then ultimately end the day there so you put a break in between because i think that traditional eight hours straight with like a 30 minute break i think that's the worst way to go if you give yourself a um um, like let's say if you do it every hour per se so give yourself 50 minutes of straight blitzing through hard work 10 minutes off 50 again straight through 10 minutes off where you can make it work it all depends on how you structure everything yeah i don't know about these like routine stuff i was, I was gonna say something because me and my friend julian we've been messing with this a lot just because he's he's one of those guys who's like you know it's pretty gay a work block <laughs> <laughs> wow it was like we were, we, were, we were having sushi sushi the other yeah. day there was three different sauces it was like smoky soy mm -hmm. like regular soy or yuzu ponzu and yuzu then ponzu. yuzu ponzu and he was like he only ate one sauce i was like oh you only ate one sauce he's like yeah because other sauces are gay but like, you know what's gay sauces i'm like what <laughs> is that german humor he's just like, Yo, is that german humor or like he drank a blue gatorade he's like it's pretty gay <laughs> Mm -hmm. Drinking a blue Gatorade, but it's like work blocks. It's one of those things like yo what? And here's my thing. I'm sure it works for some people. I the reason I don't work block because I've heard that before Yeah Sometimes you get, get in your bag. Get in the You're flow. in your flow. Yeah, and then for me Because I have ADHD. I know you hate ADHD because it's mm -hmm. not real But I like if I were to stop if I were to stop for 10 minutes mm -hmm. Bro, I'm never starting ever again. It's it's stopped and that stop is done. It's hard for me to like kick back into gear when I take right. breaks. It all depends on what works the best for you, yeah. I think, and you just have to figure that out because the, the biggest downside, we talked about this before, where the both, the both of us struggle with this, where we'll hit the flow. The only problem is it's 11 p.m. when we finally do go yep. ahead and hit it. So now you're up from 11 to 4, and now you have this irregular sleep pattern where yep. sleep is integral to being able to be at your peak productivity. So 
I do agree that it depends on how you navigate through things. I think if, if you're able to be able to get out of something and get right back into the exact same thing without losing focus, then you could do the work block and on the smaller period. If you could do four hours on and then off, but I think it all depends on the type of person that you are. Because if you get burnt out from eight consecutive hours, you shouldn't do eight consecutive hours. Fair. Especially if you're in a situation where you can dictate your schedule. So just yeah. try to you know work things around to where it makes sense for you. I think you gotta just pick your poison. Right? You gotta be like, you know what? I love this because it allows me to live a life that I wanna live. Um, I don't know. It's just Some people enjoy that shit. I enjoy it to an extent. I'm like, you know what? It feels good. I enjoy the post feeling. Right, right. I enjoy like the, the like, oh, I did that today. Like it's a because I'm uh, today's one of those days I feel fucking burned already. I'm gonna power through this day. The second I lay my head on that that pillow tonight, I'm gonna feel like ah. Oh. Yeah, me too. I have until the end of this upcoming Saturday. So it's 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 been a 72 hour stretch. I had a total of three hours of sleep. Yeah. And, and thus far, it's been about, I think I'm on hour number 39 now, and I still yeah. have another halfway to go with everything else. But I already told myself this is what was going to happen. So by the time that oh, we're taping this on a Friday, on a Saturday evening comes around, I'm so excited to be able to sleep then because I know I'm going to enjoy myself while just laying there. But I have to re-regulate my body yeah. to the sleep because that's the only downside of when you, when it's irregular and it's all over the place, you, you, you need you your body to get consistent. Where, where you have to recalibrate. So it's it, it's one of those things.